Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. If the commenters are to be believed, they're thinking that Thorne did the right thing. Okay, they're with him. It seems though he was not only a backbencher, he, he sort of felt he was being disrespected. Why is that? Here is Dwayne Grisette and what he said. He said that they had Chantal Monroe Knight. Well, he didn't call her name, but we know who he's talking about. Yeah, they're saying, he is saying, Dwayne Grisette is saying that Mia Motley had Chantal Monroe Knight out in Christ Church South canvassing canvassing you think that is not going to be seen by thorn you think he's not going to know that there's someone there sniffing around trying to get his spot in christ church south he knows he knew what was happening so like mia said easy come easy go easy come easy go she's not bothered no the question is are there others why are they whispering about Sandra husbands, maybe one who is with Thorne and well, Neil Rowe, he's neither here or there, you know, if he's with Thorne, that's neither here or there because, you know, he, he he's a goner. But yeah, I'm hearing that um, Sandra husbands name is being thrown around in the mix, thrown around. And that lady that recently gave up her, um, her portfolio and she's just, um, doing whatever she's doing can't remember her name she's the one that had the problems with the dogs when uh, her dogs um were um taken out but anyhow yeah um i'm hearing three names called along with thorn but yeah the the, the talk is that she chantal monroe knight was canvassing in thorn's area in his constituency and um Dwayne Grisette is advising you not to vote for her. Don't vote for her. <laughs> but it's good that Mia is finding um, females to occupy her spots in her cabinet. She needs an all-female cabinet. Okay, she need, that's what she needs. But yeah, he, he has crossed the floor. I reported it hours ago before I went to bed last night. It's a new day. It's, this is from the nation. I think this is from the nation. Thorn crosses the floor. He's now opposition leader in shocking move. It was not so shocking because, you know, he and Mia, he and Mia, people were talking about it, you know. People were saying that, you know, some something's going to happen. There, there are people whispering and they're not happy. And there were guys within the BLP who wanted to, you know, jump, jump, jump ship. But so this is, not, this is really, when they talk about shocking, maybe they use that word. I don't know why, but we're not shocked by this. We're not shocked by this. Um, he felt disrespected. He, you know, he felt he should have had um, um, something to do, something to do, a ministry, something to do, and he didn't. He didn't. Mia didn't entrust him with anything. Okay, he was just there, you know. So, and then when allegedly they're sending someone around canvassing in his area, in his, well, yeah. Yeah, the, it hit the fan. That hit the fan. And what happened next was predictable. And like Mia said, easy come, easy go. Okay? That's, those are her words. Easy come, easy go. You go, girl. <laughs> Chantal Monroe Knight. Okay? Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Sherry Veronica.